Catherine here. We are gearing up for our Counting Blessings Stamp of Approval Collection release on August 16th. We're going to create a really gorgeous background with this. We're going to use the leaf motif stamp set, the tags, etc. die, and then we're going to pull in a greeting from the Bloom and Bouquet stamp set. We're also going to take a little peek at the end with the Fallen Leaves die, so be, be sure to stay tuned for that. The color palette we're using is Orange Twist, Melon Ice, and Aqua Teeny. I'm gonna start this card out by using the Tags Etc. die. I've already die cut the large tag, and then we're gonna use the Marching Leaves stencil. So I have some painter's tape. I'm just gonna tack my stencil down so it doesn't move. I'm gonna grab some embossing paste. And I'm gonna use my palette knife to just apply the embossing paste to the stencil. I'm going to give it one last pass just to make sure everything is covered and we'll lift this up carefully. I'm going to move this piece and add my tag in. We're going to do the same thing. Gonna add any excess back into the little container, pull this up, and then I'm gonna go wash my stencil and my palette knife while this dries. Give you a close up look. While we're waiting for that to dry, we're gonna move on to the next part. I'm going to do some direct to paper with Aqua Teeny, Orange Twist, and Melon Ice. I want to do some water droplets on here, so I'm going to take my Distress Sprayer and I'm just going to spritz on some water, some small drops and big drops, and we'll see what kind of patterns we get. Okay, I'll let that dry. I'm going to use the Leaf Motif Stamp Set. I'm going to use this one right here, and I'm just going to stamp it in midnight right over each of these little color palettes that I just did. <laughs> Then I'm going to cut them out. For the greedy, I'm going to use the You Matter from the Bloom and Bouquet stamp set. I'm going to ink it in Versamark, stamp it on black, and then use white embossing powder. We'll heat that and we'll get a white on black sentiment. I have my sentiment embossed and cut down and I want to add a little detail to the bottom. So I did another piece. I did direct to paper and then the water splotches just like I did for the leaves. And I cut it out with this little piece. This is just like a little stitched border piece and it adds a really great accent. So my card is coming together. I'm just waiting for my embossing paste to dry. And when I was spreading this on, I thought, hmm, this looks awfully shiny to me. <laughs> I grabbed embossing paste thinking it was regular embossing paste, but this is translucent. So it has kind of a clear glossy look to it rather than a matte white look. So it just gives you a little bit different look when you use the translucent as opposed to the white embossing powder. Finishing up the card is going to be pretty quick. I'm just going to add adhesive to my layers and glue them together. So I have a card base, it's a half sheet of cardstock folded in half, cut in half and then folded in half. We're just gonna add the first large layer on here. And then I have a three and a quarter by five, three and a quarter by four and a half inch piece of cardstock where just plain white. I'm gonna add this over here just for some extra layering to make it a little more special. And I have a little piece of black twine. I'm gonna add this through my tag. And I, I'm really excited about the fact that this hole went right through that leaf like that just perfectly. I did not plan that. Don't you love happy accidents? <laughs> so I'm just going to loop that through. And I think we'll do some dimensional adhesive on the back. We'll pop this up off the layer. We'll add this to my layer, centering it on the card. 
And then I'm just gonna add all of my little pieces. This looks like a pretty clean and simple subtle card, but there's a lot going on here. I love all the dimension and the texture on it. Had this idea in my head and I just went for it and I'm really pleased with the results. So our blog hop is going on right now. Make sure you go over there and comment to win. The Stamp of Approval Counting Blessings Collection goes on sale August 16th. Uh, the evening before on Tuesday night we have a slumber party, PJ party release with this uh, Stamp Nation members and we open ordering early for them. So that's always super fun and exciting and a special little perk of membership. If you missed this collection, our last collection sold out on the first day by dinner time. It was crazy and only waitlist people got to get their chance at grabbing one. So be sure you're on the waitlist, cpstampofapproval.com. And if you end up missing out, these products will be in our store later this year or early 2018 for individual sale. But when you get them in the collection, you get this fabulous box, you get the project guide download, and you get a really screaming deal on the price. So pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm going to pull in a couple more cards that I made. This one is a lot of the same techniques I use here. I did the same exact technique on the leaves that I did here for the watercolors. I just did direct to paper with my ink pads. I did the distress sprayer with all the water droplets, waited for it to dry, and then I added the stamping on top. So very different looking cards, right? But the same technique. And then just for fun, I'm going to pull this one in. This is is our fallen leaves die here let's uh, show you this one these two little guys they look very small and simple but they pack a punch because they can do so many fun things look at this I cut the little stem off here and then I did the positive and the negative and just made them into little flowers so if you're watching on YouTube be sure to click the link below to head over to my blog because I will add photos of these and if I end up going Facebook live with these I'll, I'll link to those as well so that's all for today thanks for being here you guys I will see you soon